The Tijuana government placing a piece of the Berlin Wall just a stone's throw from the U.S.-Mexico border in a clear message to border security advocates in America. The Tijuana mayor saying, quote, why in Tijuana? How many families have shed blood, labor, and their lives to get past the wall? The social and political conflict is different than the Berlin Wall, but it's a wall at the end of the day, and a wall is always a sphinx that divides and bloodies nations. It comes as Border Patrol reportedly arrested more than 175,000 between ports of entry last month, as DHS warns this number may grow if Mexico stops taking back some illegal migrants. Former DHS Acting Deputy Secretary Ken Cuccinelli is here to react. Ken, happy Labor Day. Thank you for joining us this morning. I want to you go too. right to this Tijuana mayor putting a relic of the Berlin Wall there along our border. I guess he's trying to invoke the tear down this wall, Mr. Biden. I don't know. It makes no sense. Can you figure it out? <laughs> well, first of all, Biden has torn down a good chunk of the wall, but, um, uh, it, it, you know, it's an emotional play, but it had nothing to do. That was with keeping people in like a whole country was a jail. And we've never said Mexico is a jail, but there is blood on the border and it comes from the cartels that the Mexican government and the Tijuana mayor don't take on. Um, so the American people are paying for that with lives in the tens of thousands every year. Um, and we didn't get close to finishing securing that border. And that is something that has, uh, of course, exploded as a subject with the Biden open borders policies, which, by the way, he's been underwater with Democrat voters for two years on these policies. The only people happy with these policies are the radical left of even just the Democrat Party. And the cartels, as you mentioned, who have never thrived oh, they love with this much control of our border. And by the way, for those that are now just tuning in and waking up to the border problem, it's getting worse. In fact, Ken, it's honestly, as someone who's covered it, never been this bad. We've got latest numbers. We can show them yeah. to you. Nearly 2 million, highest since March of 2000 that were up to October 2022 to July. Now, you, you look at the numbers that the Washington Post is putting out, Ken, and they reported more than 91,000 of 177,000 last month um, were family units. So families are coming in droves, right. uh, unprecedented number. What do you make of that? Well, first of all, it's the biggest loophole in the legal system, and they know they have allies in the Biden administration. And, and frankly, I doubt the number is that high. I think this administration is happy to play along with a lot of the lying done at the border by people crossing the border with fake families. Uh, we started investigating and stopping those, and of course that is not something the Biden administration is interested in doing. They want to facilitate their entry, and so they're happy to play along with the lies. Uh, because they do have an open borders policy. And, th and th this isn't a mistake. You and I look at the border and we see a disaster. Joe Biden and, and Kamala Harris look at the border and they see success. This is what they want. They want to yeah. flood the United States with illegals, despite what it does to our poor people's job opportunities and wages, despite what it does to school sy systems and districts, and despite what it does to destroying our tax base, um, overwhelming communities that are just not prepared to absorb this many people invading their communities. And interestingly, now here in New York City, where I am standing, you've got the mayor and New yeah. York's governor looking at the border, seeing it quite different than they originally did now that they've got the migrant crisis here on their doorstep. Ken Cuccinelli, thank you for your time and great insight as always. Happy Labor Day. Good to be with you. All right. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here.